and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be playing some Modern Warfare. And you may notice something. I did not realize they would be doing this. There is no Battle Pass anymore. It seems that they're trying to push people more towards Cold War, despite many people not really enjoying it because of how they have changed the style, to say the least. The changed style of the game. But they're trying to force people to do this, and by doing so, it seems they got rid of the Battle Pass, which... I feel like it's kind of dumb for them to do, to say the least, because, I mean, why would you cut a game that 90% of your player base is doing? All that's going to do is take off your player base. At least that's what it seems from my view. Like, you're now forcing me, in order to enjoy a game that I have, to play your new game that I may not enjoy, which I'm going to have to check it out. I just was going to get it, but unfortunately... As you know, my controller died. Well, pretty much all the joysticks went out. The mechanisms got messed up. So, in between the video that got released yesterday, I got myself a new controller, which, to say the least, I did not know that the controllers were different. So, it's definitely cooler, a lot sleeker, and I like that with the newer models of the PlayStation 4 controllers, you can actually see the light in between the the center pad because before I was using the original PlayStation controller that I got when I got the normal PlayStation back within like a year of it coming out so I'd never seen the new ones and this is definitely cooler I like it but another thing a lot of people are probably hyped out that Cyberpunk 2077 came out that's also another game I wanted to get but I'm probably gonna have to get Cold War before that because they got rid of the battle pass and also I'll have to check out the new war zone since I believe it's on Alcatraz Island at least that's what I believe they're calling it I know they've kinda gone back and forth been on the fence hey do we call it Alcatraz or do we call it something else but yeah definitely seems like it'll be cool and today I'm thinking I'm just gonna check out some of the 24 sevens and then I guess we can just maybe squeezing gunfight or what objective we've seen gun but gunfight before so I guess we will try out some what objective and the 24 7 maps generally go quickly so yeah I'll see you guys in the first match today we're just we're just gonna start off with one of the 24 7 maps and then we'll go on the what objective so yeah see you guys in the first match okay so we're in our first match here on Hovik Sawmill so then we're gonna be interesting I'm interested to try out the new controller especially with the fact that I got quicker trigger system so I don't have to press in as much, so I'm interested to see how these work. And you'll get my opinion on them real quick. But about to use them for the first time, about five seconds. Ooh. Okay, I just got hit from the back. But, felt weird, honestly, not pressing in that much. I'm used to the long long press but I just literally have to tap it I'm gonna reload Wow <laughs> I honestly got kinda lucky there Definitely something I have to get used to, but I feel like once I get used to it, it'll be very powerful. Like that. Oh man. It's been a bit since I've played Call of Duty as well. I was hoping to check out the launch screen with you guys, so I didn't didn't check out possibly messing with the controller first but Enemy at the back man thought my teammate was covering there you know what we'll chill in the back we'll do it from here since we all know how that one map went on the last video Teammate. 
<laughs> Ooh, I know exactly where to set. Ah, oh, I knew exactly where to set it up. But got killed before I could do so. Come on. I think there's a place around back I can go up. Actually, you know what? I hope I don't get killed before I place this or else I'm gonna lose a sentry gun. No, 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 no! No! Come on, teammates! Star side of the map! I do find that annoying. I wish it would just drop the sentry gun and you could pick it back up or like the enemies could pick it, pick it up. It's like you die and it just magically disappears. Honestly, should have just left it because of guys like that. I hate counter UAVs. Wow. Guys using the MP5 on. Oh, dead silencing cranks. Within. The submachine gun, that's dirty. Okay. This is definitely a short match as I did join in between. So I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to end about right about now. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys in the next 24-7 match. Hopefully we don't join mid-match this time. And yeah, hopefully I do a bit better now that I've kind of gotten accustomed to the new controller. So yeah, see you guys in the next match. Okay, so we're in our next match. We're just coming in. We're on the Cheshire Park 24-7. Figured I'd test out using the car 98 on a little just quick aim in and fire short range throw them off oh he was right there I'm gonna have to edit this loadout Get. Oh man, I missed that shot. That would have been perfect, but that was a hair off. Let me actually go in and edit this loadout real quick. I do not need a claymore in this. I'll take a frag grenade and a snapshot. It's not a bad setup. Oh, I thought that was a teammate. Come on. Really? That wasn't... Did they nerf it? Probably a bit... Probably not... Uh, we'll find out. Run around with the buys in a bit. Flag spike... Not appreciated. Ah, got a major lag spike there. Couldn't do anything really. Hey. Ah, oh, come on, teammates. There's like three of you over there. I have an MP5 loadout. 
Nothing really. Eh, why not? Work on getting some stuff for the M4. Come on. <sighs> Use dead silence for nothing. Okay, yeah. Oh, that was the guy right there. Oh, they're gonna come this way, all right? Come on. Oh, give me a sec, guys. I apologize, new controller. Six, we'll go back down the six. Yeah, that's still really high. Oh, jeez. Wow. Their servers are really laggy today. Every time I every time I get in conflict getting lag that's what I mean I don't know if you guys can see this on your end but every time I'm going to fire at some guy it's immediate lag Hello. Oh, behind me. I didn't realize we swapped sides. Oh, I was boxed in. That's brilliant. Oh, hello. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna give the auto a try. Wow, okay. Hello there. Yeah, that side covered. Hello, game. <sighs> so, guess I should know. Anytime the game lags, there's a guy nearby. Awesome. Absolute hell. Oh, we got a Wilson. Nice. <laughs> I'm out of ammo. <laughs> Reload, please, for the love of God. Okay, let off aim. Oh, behind. <sighs> Pushing in the side, teammates. Teammate, 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 teammate. Thank you. I was gonna be. I just legit saw him on the radar. I was like, alright, let's just run in this door and. Oh, 
drop it dead center. I was hoping I could make it into the building on time. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, please, thank you. I saw a guy right down there. Hello, let me over the wall, thank you. Ah, oh, there's guys right there. Honestly, not my best match in the world, but this is a very different controller. Cause like I'm tap, that's just me tapping it ever so slightly. Interesting to say the least. Nope, lag. Oh, to my right. Come on! Just trying to find the gun that works best with me right now. This controller, I should say, as well. Okay, there we go. I'll borrow this guy's MP5. Thank you. Uh, that would have been helpful about five seconds ago. Oh. Not bad. Could have done better, but getting used to the controller. You saw it towards the end, it started to do better. So we'll go check out the What Objective game mode, and that'll be it for today because I don't want you holding guys over for too long, and we're already at 18 minutes. So it may be a bit of a longer video today. I do apologize for that, but I shall see you guys in the next match, and yeah, that was uh, not a good match at all. Okay, so we just got into a What Objective map. We're playing Headquarters on Hackney Yard. I set up a little MP. Ah, MP5 class in between the two matches, so we'll see how this goes. Since MP5 seems to be really good with this controller. Oh, help. <laughs> I didn't realize I was standing on top of that. The MP drone, come on, let's capture. Oh, hell. Come on, come on, come on, come on, thank you. I'm gonna chill right here. Guy right here. We'll get him. Oh, that guy knew I was there. Oh, did he nail me with oh, thermal sniper? <sighs> okay. One thing I do want to try is the exoskeleton and first impression. Interesting. <laughs> So yeah, what I'm trying out is I'm using the Desert Bloom and the Exoskeleton one, so I'm seeing how the Exoskeleton is. Should 
Shield turret. Come on, let me place. Okay, I missed. Want to see if I can use this? Doesn't look like I will, though. There we go. Pretty sure that guy's a bot, though, so. Got him. Okay, actual. Send recon. Copy. Falcon 301 route for personal radar coverage. Oh, this ought to be entertaining. I saw a little bit of lag right there, but held the fort. not do this. Um I did that in a match before. It sucked. Ready. Send the airdrop. Copy Where's that, that recon? Send it over. HQ active. Secure the location. They're capturing the HQ. Come on. Fuck up the other one. I like cruise me. Give me something I can use to change that and let's not get killed by this. Ah. That'll help. Let's go see if we can steal it from him. If I can push up here. Reloading. Oh. Just the one place or the only way. Up is there. Package inbound. UAV is out of fuel. Returning to resupply. HQ contested. Time to go fix that problem. Oh man, well I'm done for this round to it. Oh, 30 seconds. Well, definitely an interesting game. I don't think I've actually ever played headquarters before. Normally just TDM, domination, pretty much it. And the one guy left alive is AFK. Brilliant. <laughs> We'll just sit right here since unfortunately nowadays you gotta deal with a bunch of tryhard players So the best thing you can do is just camp and wait for it Don't you dare Uh-uh I hate people that do that where they try to steal it Oh, behind me. Teammate that was looking right behind me couldn't deal with them apparently. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I had a feeling that was happening. Oh, no, 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 no. Get 
come on, come on. Ah, he wouldn't get up from being crouched. I was trying to, I hit up and he wasn't doing anything. I hate when that happens. It's like you can't get up and melee at the same time. You know... Oh, well, that works too. Thank you. Anything that helps me just establish... Death itself. Please go the way. You're supposed to. Oh, thank you. Oh, hello. <laughs> I have no idea how I got him for me. Well, hello there. Where? Oh, oh, he got up. <laughs> that didn't work out. Oh, come on. They just got the HQ online, too. Yeah, we'll say that. Um, buddy. So, is it just me? Is my question. Because I'm seeing a lot of people on problems aiming. That they mess up the aiming to make people ticked off at this game and just want to move to the next game. That's actually a good question. They're going to kill the AFDA guy. That actually makes me curious. Did Activision intentionally mess with people to do that but we'll carry this on after we exit this match so I'll see you guys in a split second okay so yeah I definitely did good that last match got 22 kills and nine deaths way better than before I feel like I've now gotten accustomed to this controller for the most part but yeah as I was watching as I was watching the one guy that was firing I noticed he was having the same problem I was where his like aiming was a bit off which I know I had a new controller but that makes me beg the question is it really the controller or is Activision just messing with us so that they force us to go to it? Because they've already, as you can tell, they've taken away the season pass. So all you got is a store. There's a bunch of Cold War stuff. They're giving away a bunch of free stuff that you normally had to pay for. For an, another bundle to get. And they're doing everything they possibly can to drive you out of Modern Warfare. And to either A, Warzone or Cold War. Which they may try and push people out of Modern Warfare Cold War as well, like maybe making it less popular, the starting to remove drops or whatever, may like restricting stuff, which I hope they don't do, but it seems like they've already started doing that. So we'll see where it goes. May be forced to get Cold War in the near future, which does suck since I do honestly kind of prefer Modern Warfare, I prefer the style of game. But. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you're having the same experience, because I honestly want to know and figure out, is it just me, and was it just that other guy that possibly he could have sucked at the game, for all I know, but it was very similar to what I was dealing with. So, yeah, just let me know down in the comments if you're having similar stuff, because I'm truly curious at this point, because honestly, with that some game companies been doing recently, I wouldn't be that surprised. Like, prime example is Destiny 2 getting rid of all their old content, which that reminds me, when I was at the store getting my new controller, I saw there was the Destiny 2 Forsaken bundle that had the Season 1 and, like, the Year 1 and Year 2 bundle, and it was $5 because all the content was gone, so all you were paying for is to get access to the base Destiny 2 game, so, yeah, saw that, and I was like, that kind of sucks, because now the, now the store has all this stuff that they bought to have in stock, and now they have to sell it for way less, so they kind of got scammed there. But, yeah, I'm just hoping they're not going to try and do something similar and kind of, like, force your hand to go to the next game like many game industries are doing nowadays, which is unfortunate. 
But anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you guys in another video, and we'll see, honestly, how many more videos of these we can do before I have to go to Cold War. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord for the latest notifications and info on everything regarding, like, you'll find a photo of my new controller on my Instagram, so make sure to go check that out to see my, see my layout, kind of what I have for a setup, and yeah. Hope you all enjoyed, and I shall see you next time.